This short film depicting the complex nature of maternity care has been made to encourage open dialogue and to help us consider the many contributory factors that may impact how well we work. This film was made with the cooperation of Epsom and St Helier Maternity Services and was inspired by real patient and staff experiences. We would like to thank all of the actors who took part in this film, all of whom are Epsom and St Helier staff. We can use the Systems Engineering Initiative for Patient Safety Model, SEEPS, to explore contributory factors under each SEEPS heading. For example, environment factors. We can then consider the interactions between factors under the various headings that produce both the wanted and unwanted outcomes and that feed back and change the work system from day to day. For example, person factors may include stress levels, spoken language, past experiences and unconscious biases. External influences could include societal norms, government funding and national policy. And organisation of work factors could include departmental culture, training and education strategy, or staffing and skill mix. Factors under tasks may include time pressures, concurrent tasks, or task complexity. Whilst design and availability of equipment can be factors relating to tools and technology. Examples of environmental factors influencing the work system may be temperature, noise level or layout. All of these factors can influence how we work as healthcare professionals and also how patients in our care may be impacted. This film aims to raise awareness of the complex nature of maternity care and encourage open and psychologically safe discussions around how we can strengthen our work systems so we have more of the wanted outcomes and dampen down those risky and unwanted elements within our system. Watch the film and look out for factors under the six SEEPS headings. And remember, it's easy to find person factors, so challenge yourself to find contributory factors for all the headings. I didn't realise she was uh, had been discharged. Yeah, we really need the bed. Okay, oh, okay, I'll let the team know. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye. You're listening to Late Night News with me, Mazza Morton. Our top story today. A recent report has highlighted the impact of social and ethnic inequalities for maternity services across the world. Only 9 hours, 50 minutes and 10 seconds until I'm done. I can't wait for my week on the beach. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Well then. The bad news is we've got no midwives. Good news is though they're sending an MSW over from the other side. Did you know uh, bed five was supposed to go home? No. Well they've ordered sending someone down so you need to get that bed ready. But in order to make that happen the service must ensure they have enough midwives. Earlier today our reporter Jessie Blair was outside the Royal College of Midwives. I'll grab that bill. Thanks. Is someone free to come see Hanjo yet? She's in a lot of pain, and we were told the midwife was gonna come examine her. Uh, is she your friend? She's not my friend, she's my wife. Well, when did she have the prostate? It's been hours. Shouldn't she be moving to the labor ward soon? No, pr well, prostate could take a really long time to work, so it's probably a bit early to go up to labor ward. I really need to go and see this lady. Let me see her, and I'll come back and check on your wife, okay? It's funny, I was warned about Asian women overly complaining about pain. Now I know what they mean. Why do I have to explain our relationship every time? Does nobody read the notes? Hello. So, good news, you're going home. 
Right? Home? Call George. Phone George. George? Yep, phone. Cushion? Yeah, can I speak to him? I, I want to help. I, I know to feel well. Me and my wife know to me. It, it won't make I go no else. I know I know one for go. Um, my body will warm. Uh, yeah, the ads, uh, the trimble, uh, it looks like I'm drunk. Yes, do you, I won't make you come in. You go, I will explain to you, midwife. Thank you. Yeah, I'll speak to him. Yeah, thank you. Hi, this is a midwife looking after your wife. Um, just to let you know that she's actually ready to go home now. Really? It's a bit late. We thought she would be staying right. another night. You know she's not feeling too well. It's our first baby and I think she's quite worried about taking the baby home. Okay, well, I mean, she has just had a baby, so it's normal to be really tired and lots of mums do get quite anxious. Um, we have, a, you know, we fully assessed her and we do feel that she's fit to go home now. Well, okay, if you're happy for her to go home, then I will have to come and get her. Um, when you come in, we'll, um, we'll have a chat and I'll explain everything. Well, okay. All right then, okay then, great. Yeah, I'll see you soon, bye. There you go. Yeah, all done. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So go home. So I'm just gonna go and uh, do a quick set of ops. All right. I know they feel good. I they wondering what waiting they go on. I know Sabi. Waiting till they talk. She is very anxious. Oh, um, hi, uh, the midwife in charge asked if um, you need any help. I've just come from cross site. Ah, oh, amazing. Could you just come in here for a minute and help? I'm gonna get dressed. She's a bit anxious. Hello. Are you coming now? Yes, yes, I just need to put this away. I'll be there in a minute, okay? Typical first baby syndrome. Sorry, I don't know what to do. I couldn't get her out of bed. Yeah, are you okay to deal with this? I need to get back. Yeah, bed. yeah, go, go. Okay, can you just please help her get back on the bed? Yeah. Um, can we have some oxygen on? Uh, another set of OBS. I need to go and ring the coordinator and let her know she can't be discharged. She can't, can't go home now. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Okay. Alright, it's okay. Let's for blow. Okay. Oh, hi, hi. Yeah, it's Emma on postnatal. Um, I'm just calling to let you know Bed 5 can't go home tonight. Oh, no. Why not? Are you sure? Well, they're not too bad, but she just doesn't seem right. Oh, we're really under pressure for beds tonight. No, I really don't think she can go tonight. Okay, well, listen, I've got the SHO here. I'm going to send her Great. Up. Thanks. Bye. This patient was fine earlier to go home. I hope this doesn't take long. This may be my only chance to get a C-section signed off upstairs. Goodness, you're here. This lift's always breaking down. Yeah, I know, we're always here. Oh, hi, my name's Jenny, I'm the SHO on call. 
Um, I thought I just got a handover and I thought this lady was meant to be going home. What's been happening? Yeah, she was. Um, the support worker was helping her get dressed and she just felt really funny and now her obs are getting worse. Do we have a temperature? Uh, oh no, it wasn't working earlier. Oh, I've got one here. Okay, I'll try that one. Just that fibula. And are these most recent observations? Uh, yeah, I've literally just done them. Okay, great. Any oh. bloods that have gone recently? Oh, I don't know. No, sorry. no recent no. bloods. Okay. And what's your name? Oh, her name's Amina. Amina. She okay. doesn't speak much English. Okay, cool. Don't oh. worry, Amina. We're just going to do your temperature. It's 38.5. It could be sepsis. Yeah. Do you mind going into the box, please? Um, okay, yeah. Um. Excuse me, we are still waiting for a midwife. She's in a lot of pain and I'm really starting to get worried. She keeps asking for the toilet. I'll let the midwife know. Um, she's got a toilet in her room, hasn't she? So I've, I've got to go and get something. I know why they don't want to come. They feel uncomfortable with our relationship. Oh, there's so many boxes in here. Which one do they want me to get? I'm really sorry, I don't know which box you wanted. I've got the, uh, the pet box, the oh, Anthraxis. The box will do. Thank you very one. much. Okay, um... Thank you. Don't worry, you don't normally work here. I'll show you around a bit later. Thank you. Um, if you're alright just to take this trolley back to where you found it and grab me a drip span, that'd be great. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone here is so helpful. This is so different to my last trust. Stuff. Yeah, Jenny, are you okay to cannulate? Yes, of course. Um, I'm going to put a catheter in. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll get these ready. And if you take um, a venous blood first and a full set of bloods as well, please. No problem. Okay. It's in the I'll let you know when they're done. What language you speak? I'm not sure. I'm really sorry. It's, it's okay, don't worry. I'm not sure. Can you make sure that the oxygen's on 15, please? Amina, I just need yeah, to get 15 access. Litres. Do you mind just staying here for, to reassure her while we get yeah, a camera sure. in, please? Exactly. We're going to get access from your elbow, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Don't, worry. don't worry, you're okay. Mm -hmm. Right, how's everyone getting on in here? Okay, there's a lot going on. You go and call the midwife in charge, please. Yeah, that's 38.5, by the way. I'm going to call my reg as well. Where are they? I pressed the button. Come on, you're okay. Don't worry. You're fine. They need to get here faster. Please, someone come. Thank goodness, doctor, you're here. I'm actually the doctor. Well, she can feel the head. I need the boss. Oh.